Hi everyone. I received something in post the other day which I'm really pleased about. This is my old Leatherman Wave. It is um, about 10 years old. Still works great. I got it back in 2000-2001. Modified the blade slightly. But we all know these and we all know there are so many different models available out there. But guess what? I didn't get a new one of these. Yeah, I thought it was a bit stiff. Oh well, do it. I didn't get a new one of these. What I got was that. The Leatherman Mutt. Here's the size comparison. Okay, you all know I did a trade video. I had a knife that I was willing to trade, and um, on the top of the list was this, the Leatherman Mutt. That was the number one on my wish list. Unfortunately, the knife didn't trade. I did have a couple of people offer to buy it, but they simply weren't willing to pay the minimum that I was asking for the knife. So a friend of mine contacted me and said he may be able to get me one. Uh, free of charge, no trade required. Simply as a thank you for some work I did on one of his knives. And uh, Grimey, Grimes, you know who you are. Thank you very much. I absolutely love this. And there will be something sent to you in the post as a thank you um, in the next uh, week or so. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but I'll get to it as soon as I can. The Leatherman Mutt. This is the EOD model. It has the uh, detonator crimpers, uh, cutters, needle nose pliers, wire strippers in here it's still a bit stiff because it's brand new has the blade which is quite chunky so in comparison there's quite a bit of size difference there And the same thing, it has a liner lock. And on the other side, you have the saw, also liner lock. Thing is, normally, for example, with this, you got the rope cutter on that side, you turn it over, and you still got access to the blades, right? And the saw, which is a bit smaller, is opposite. Well, it's the same here. There's the main blade, and there's the saw. Now, if you're right-handed, that works fine. But you got to pull it out like this if you're right-handed, or do it left-handed. So if you're southpaw, this is fine for the saw. You can actually swap them around if you want, but as you just saw, if you're right-handed, Open the main blade, locks in place, close. Now if you want to open up the saw, use your middle finger on the other side and simply just push. Works fine, you just need to turn it around when you're closing it. So again, you can practice pushing the lock in with your finger. So you can still operate both blades single-handed. And the same thing if you're a southpaw, lefty. Saw, main blade. Now, 
for bushcraft use. Why get the EOD version? Well, this is the carbon scraper. It's used for cleaning your uh, weapons, especially the M4. This is specifically designed for the M4 series of weapons. Now this can be used as an awl or a spike or a punch. So you can actually punch into canvas material, nylon material. You can even drill a hole in softwood and that's replaceable. It's non-locking but it does click into place. So that's your bushcraft use there for woods, for canvases and nylons. Turn it over, you've got the C4 explosive spike. Now that is if you have a block of C4 and what you do is punch into the C4 and put detonator into it. Well, we don't work with uh, C4 explosives in bushcraft. Um, so what can you use it for? Well, what I plan on doing, the angle on here is quite steep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth that off just a little bit. So it's a lot smoother and rounded edge. And it can be used as a marlin spike. Great for undoing knots. And the thing is, it's also removable. Like my friend Colin said, you can actually use this as a block in a quick release knot. The thread on this, you can actually buy a tool punch, which actually has the same thread on it. And that's the one that you get on the other model of the mutt. Like the other one comes with a punch, a takedown punch, which you can use for your M4 rifle. But that's one of the reasons why I went for the EOD version. I like the um, I like the um, carbon scraper as a uh, punch or an awl, and I like the C4 punch as a marlin spike. That's specifically why I wanted this model. Now on the other side here you've got a little screwdriver. There's this little platform here that you need to push in to release that. Push it in and it comes right out. You've got Phillips head one end, flat head on the other. And that locks in place there. Now normal storage for this it's actually along the handle. So when that's closed, it sits here. But personally, I don't like storing it there because like you just see, if it gets knocked, it can actually drop out. So when not in use, I prefer to store it in the holder. And also that works as a stopper for the cutting blades up here. Now what can those cutting blades be used for in bushcraft? Well, if you have paracord, straight in and cut it. Now I'm not going to cut this because I just put that on. But it gives you a good idea. That V blade great for cutting rope, small paracord rope or nylon cordage. Now it also has a little locking lever. If this gets a bit annoying you can lift that up and lock it in place so that will not open. Now if you need a Phillips head or the flat head screwdriver and that's just not long enough if it can't reach that's okay take that out stow it and what you do is on the side here there is a longer one and there's another one in here you can't actually see it very well but see that silver stud and that one they are connected it is one unit, so I do is 
push that in and it moves down, it sinks down and you can now remove the longer screwdriver and there you go, you got a longer screwdriver put that away, slide that in and all the way down and then that needs to be raised back up so what you do is go to the other side push that in now that's come out all the way because I want to access the other one in here and that's got a star screw and that's got a allen key now I don't know the size of those but I'm sure you can look it up on the internet that actually goes through that little hole and slides back into the handle and then you push that back when it's half and half it's blocking both of those bits from coming out. That is for your rifle cleaning kit or your pistol cleaning kit. That threaded hole is actually part of the head of the pliers. So when closed you can get your cleaning kit, screw it in and you basically got it sticking through like that and then you clean your weapon when done you just unscrew it so that's pretty much all I think I've covered except for oh yep yeah, hang on you've got the um, got the belt clip and that's actually springy it's made of steel but it's springy it's got two keys to allen screws here that you can remove so you can take it off if you want you've got your carabiner clip here if you want to quickly put it away somewhere safe and that carabiner clip also works as a bottle opener like that you can open up a bottle top and down here on the bottom you've got the basically it's, it's a hammer basically, it's a strong piece of steel, I have already used it but also that tip here that unit here is also used for clearing any jams or misfeeds that you have on your AR system or your your rifles, you actually stick that into the ejection port and you rack back the bolt from internally and it clears the jam Um, what else? I've yet to learn everything on this So I'm just thinking that we've got everything uh, Yep, 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 yep Got your wire cutters and replaceable blades Blast cap crimpers which can actually if you have small sticks You can actually use that to scrape the bark off small sticks so you can use it for um, putting food on the sticks if you want to cook it over the fire so you get the stick you want to remove the bark off it because you don't want that put that in there and you scrape the stick so you can then put your food onto that stick and cook it over the fire put a needle nose pliers um, I think that's it. So what I'll do is I'll show you the molly sheath that came with it. 